Okay, uh, welcome folks. Um, yeah, so uh, apparently I can start any time, so I will, I will start any time. Um, has that got me, got me coming up on screen? I'm sure it will uh, in a minute. Uh, welcome folks to what we put in the panel as, or in the program as a Sagittarius I new project. Um, the reason we put it down as a Sagittarius I new project, it is from some of the team that have been developing Sagittarius I over the last two years. Um, What's happened is that um, we've started to put together a second, uh, a second offering, which is going to be uh, a new magazine that uh, Suv is is working on, and that um, some of the others in the team are working on. And this new magazine is uh, Parallel Worlds, which hopefully that that kind of comes up on the. I, I, I'm in a delay, so I'm. I'm Trying to see if it, well, there we go, fine. Okay, so yeah, so we have decided because of the, the nature of um, Sagittarius I is, is really interesting. Sagittarius I as a, as a magazine is probably one of the highest quality semi-professional um, publications I've ever been involved in in my life. Um, the, the work that's done to transform some of the content into these amazing pages uh, is is incredible, and it's it's mostly down to the fact that the the guys who work on it, um, the team that works on it, um, are so dedicated to what they're doing, and they have gorgeous visuals to to work with because they've got the uh, the Elite Dangerous engine to be able to do that. Um, it produces something that's incredible, and over two years of working on it. Um, we've developed quite a, a, an amazing process, an amazing process that, that has deadlines every month for everybody to, to produce their content, make sure it's there, make sure it's together, and then it hands over to editing. And actually, it's become a very, very structured and well, uh, well put together machine. Um, so with that in mind, with the fact that it is as professionally produced as it is, what... Um, what we started to talk about, and, and actually, I think Suv probably came up with the idea, and he would be here. He is, if anyone doesn't know, he's on honeymoon at the moment. So uh, 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 congratulations, Suv, on getting married. Um, and uh, he, is, he is on the other side of the world. But one of the things that, um, that we had a conversation about was that because we had developed such a good process, we wanted to try and export that into something that broadened the scope of what we would produce as a magazine. Um, and so Parallel Worlds is our offering of a fairly general science fiction and fantasy magazine that covers games, that covers books, that covers um, role playing, that covers um, all sorts of films and other activities and, uh, and everything else that we are going to have put together and we're going to be rolling out in a, a similar fashion to the way in which we roll out Sagittarius I. So it will have a, um, a regular publication schedule, and it will be um, uh, it will be a publication of the hopefully the same professional content. Um, the idea behind that then is to gradually turn that into something that uh, branches into all these different areas and has opportunities for lots of people to to contribute and to to be part of, of what's there. So we are at a very early stage and you may notice those of you that I've handed these cards to and if you want to take some you know at a later point then please do. Um, we have them available on the main desk um, we have them here. Um, we're looking to have our first issue out in September which is a pretty quick turnaround in terms of stuff. And it's going to cover some Elite Dangerous content, um, but for the most part, it is going to cover new content, um, covering a variety of different, um, different areas of, of hobby interest. And it will be some of, the, some of the people who have been involved in Sagittarius, I will be working on it, but it is a separate project. So it, um, you know, it will, will gradually see, uh, you know, see sort of attention of, of some of those people sort of moving towards uh, doing that bit and piece. Um, so yeah, um, we're very excited. Uh, we've, we've, we've started sort of with, with a few concept art pieces in terms of what's there, and we've started to, to commission some bits and pieces of, of writing to begin with. And we want it to, to do the things that 
we've always wanted to do, which is um, print publication we want to get to, um, you know, in terms of a, a larger circulation. Uh, we want it to have the, you know, the, the excellent standard of PDF that, uh, that's being produced um, in the past. And we want it to, to kind of feed a lot of different voices because we do feel that, um, that there is a niche, there is an area where this, this could kind of fit. Um, there are magazines that cover some of these different areas of content, but we think that, that actually with the team that we have, we can, we can look to do something that has a particularly individual uh, individual theme. So yeah, so essentially that was uh, was pretty much all the information that we're we're looking to um, to put together on on it at the moment. Um, if there's anything that anybody wants to ask uh, in relation to to what we've uh, what we've suggested and what we've we've put up, um, we're happy to to take some questions about it. Um, there isn't a lot more detail at this stage as we're, we're in the middle of, of sort of organizing what content may go in the first edition, but the plan is that the publication run will be, uh, will be regular, as regular as we can make it. Um, Sagittarius I will continue. You know, there's no, there's no change in, in that regard at this stage, um, and I'll leave it to, to others that, um, that are more involved in that to, uh, to talk about, you know, the, the, the development of that as a magazine. But uh, at the same time, you know, Parallel Worlds is going to be our uh, our offering that, that branches out and that um, that talks about uh, all sorts of different uh, exciting projects in relation to science fiction and fantasy. So yeah, that was in ten minutes. Oh dear. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh yes, right. Okay. So um, what we have at the back, and Alec is modelling those beautifully. Well done, sir. Is um, there are print copies of Sagittarius Eye available uh, here at the event? Um, if you want to take a look and see what you're missing um, or see what, what a, a print publication of the, the amazing PDF that's online would look like. And they're lovely, aren't they? Yeah, they're lovely. You know, we, 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 we kind of, you know, it, it's, it's a, I recognize the restrictions of being a fan magazine, but at the same time, I just want to own those. Ah, oh, fantastic. Excellent. So yes. So if they are in the raffle, then you know, please do buy raffle tickets because then that gives you lots of uh, opportunities to be able to win those magazines. But yeah, they are. You know, and if you'd not seen them from last year when they were here as well, you know, the print quality of uh, of the Sagittarius Eye magazine is excellent. And it, frankly, the the writing quality, the pictorial quality, all of it's good. There's it, it, it's it's been one of those experiences where um, I submit copy. And then I see what people do with it, and I just go, "Wow, you know, I I can't can't believe that's what they do with it. You know, they do this amazing, amazing job in terms of what's there. So we're hoping that'll continue. You know, that, that essentially that level of um, of amazing quality will uh, will keep up with what we're we're attempting to do. Uh, the part, uh, the the only thing that that obviously that that has has made me a little bit. Um, exhausted, I would say, um, with what we do is the monthly schedule, getting used to the idea of a monthly schedule. And I'm sure magazine writers the world over will, will say, you know what, okay, you know, yeah, you don't know what you're doing until you're, you're publishing monthly or weekly. Uh, it is hard. You know, you've got to keep the content going. But at the same time, you know, that helps when you've got good people around you and when you have a good team. So, you know, we're very excited with, uh, with what we've got planned for this and we really hope it's going to be great. Um, so yeah, that uh, that pretty much is the Sagittarius I new project. If there's any other questions, I'm happy to. Kev, do you wanna? Uh, we will do. Do you want me to? What's what's the idea? Um, I, I, I'll re I'll repurpose the question here. That's an idea. Yeah, so yes, we will be looking for submissions. Um, at this stage, what is likely to happen? is that we will be looking to, and, and I think we're kind of in a bit of hiatus with Suv being on holiday. Um, I think the first thing that will happen is there'll be, probably when he comes back, is there'll be a collation of articles of what we've got staff writers ready to do. And then there will be a submission portal opened up. Um, now, if anyone is interested in the method that Sagittarius I employs for its, for its writing and how we keep the schedule working, um, some of you know, some of you may have worked on it in the past. We use Trello, and we use Trello as a, as a production 
uh, system effectively, a workflow system. And it actually works pretty well in terms of doing that, connecting it with Google um, so that all the docs are, are labeled on Trello and then they move to a different column and then you you work on those. And uh, yeah, so it, you know, essentially we're, we'll be emulating that. We'll be doing the same process. But for submissions at the start, um, what happens is you submit your article and then we let you know whether it's accepted and then we uh, it goes to the editors and the editing team work it through and then you get a bit of an idea of what it's going to look like in the publication and then it comes out in the publication. So yeah, so there will be um, some uh, call outs in relation to, to doing that um, once we have an idea of the initial schedule of stuff that's going to be written. Um, one, of the, one of the things I think we're going to look at is Connor is running this evening, um, is running the Call of Cthulhu starter set this evening. And the idea is that we're going to review the Call of Cthulhu starter set as an article in Parallel Worlds. So uh, Connor's going to be writing a brief for, uh, uh, for that. So give you a bit of an idea of some of the stuff that we're looking to cover. Any others? Yeah, yeah. Is this thing on? Yeah. yeah. Is. OK. Uh, in Parallel Worlds, are you also looking at real science articles about Real life astronomy, or something like well, that. Well, we've 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 discussed a, a variance of of different areas. Um, I'm a big fan of 1960s analog. I have analog from 1961 to 1970. I have all of the UK issues, and in there, it intersperses fiction with um, science articles. Um, and it also, you have some adverts for 1960s stuff, like flights from Pan Am and computers that are basically bricks and are capable of just doing what a calculator does. And they're amazing, apparently, according to the advert. Um, so I'm a real fan of, of analog. And actually, the, the juxtaposition of articles in analog is really interesting. So it may be something that we are, we are looking to do. At this stage, my specific remit is looking at um, looking at the review articles and looking at fiction because um, we will be looking at fiction um, so which is obviously as a change it's not that's not something that Sagittarius I specifically does parallel worlds will be looking at fiction um, so so that's you know that's an area where I'm I'm mandated to but actually yeah you really you want to be looking to publish things that your audience is interested in. And we know our audience is interested in nonfiction articles, uh, particularly in science articles and other elements. So, um, yeah, it, you know, it would be something that we would definitely be considering. Any other questions? Okay, right. Well, I don't want to hold anyone from lunch. Alex got a half question. Um, <laughs> I, uh, yeah, sorry, yeah. I missed the beginning actually. So I, yeah. I, I'm, this is news to me actually. Okay. Um, Sagittarius is obviously a, a labour of love. Yeah, yeah. With this new endeavour, do you think do you think it's going to work the same way? I mean, I, I missed the beginning. I'm guessing you're doing this non-profit for the same kind of motivation as Sagai. Um, the eventual intention is that it will be a com commercial magazine. Okay. That is the eventual intention. Is um, it kind of the same team? There are some of the Sagittarius I team have um, agreed to be part of doing Parallel Worlds. Okay. Parallel Worlds is cool. a separate project. Yeah. Um, and um, some of those, uh, some of the stuff, you know, we've obviously, we've worked up some concept images at this stage and we're working on some trial articles at this stage. Um, but, you know, we're, we're going to go pretty hell for leather as soon as Suv comes back from his honeymoon. Um, so, yeah, we, you know, we're looking at a September publication date. I expect it will be towards the end of September, uh, to be honest, because we're going to need a little bit of time to, okay. to get a few bits and pieces together. But, yeah, the, the idea ultimately is that it will be a commercial magazine. Um, and whether that method is through Patreon to start with um, and then goes elsewhere. But... We, we have the opportunity to, to do that because it will be um, broad enough in terms of its content uh, to be able to do that. Actually, another side question. You, I, I heard you saying you were thinking of going to print with it, maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Um, 
Is there any chance of these going to print for like Patreon subscribers? I, I guess there's a rights issue with Frontier where maybe yeah. you don't have that same issue with these yeah. new projects. That's exactly okay. that's exactly that answers your question entirely. Yeah. Okay. Um, and and I can't really comment on all of the detail of it because it's not really when it comes to Sagittarius's uh, Sagittarius Eyes conversation with Frontier about that. I'm not party to it, so um, it's not something that um, uh, that I would uh, I would want to talk to. Um, but with parallel worlds, we know that that's clear, and that's essentially why we're uh, why we're looking at that. Okay. Uh, any other questions? There's one from Twitch. Will there be an audio version? Oh, uh, I'd love that. I'd love to do an audio version. I think some of the the stories that um, that we do, and you know, everybody knows that me and Chris Jarvis work together. Um, you know, as much as we possibly can. Um, and actually, I have some friends. I, I don't know if, I, yeah, I have some friends. Hey, you know, look at that. Um, the um, uh, one of my other hats. Um, I don't know if people here know is that I'm the the new as of last month. I'm the new chair of the British Science Fiction Association. Um, and yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's, it's, it, thank you. I, you know, I, I I've obviously got a lot to sort out with it, but. Um, it's a, an organization that's been running since the 1950s, and uh, its president is Stephen Baxter. Um, and as part of that, I am quite connected with you know, uh, a lot of other areas in relation to, to science fiction in the UK. Um, and one of, the, one of my, my friends runs a series of podcasts, which are essentially our audio stories, which is Pseudopod, Car, um, Cast of Wonders, um, and I can't remember Escape Pod. Yeah, that's the you know. So they basically they run a set of uh, of these things which are, uh, are fabulous, and they do essentially they do um, commission stories with with then a reader, um, and they run those regularly, set them out, and they're great. And we've seen obviously what's been coordinated with turning the audio version of um, turning the magazine uh, turning Sagittarius Eye into an audio version, and it's fabulous, you know, and it's got better. You know, in terms of uh, of doing it too, um, so we're very interested uh, in that process. But what I don't want to do is start to promise it, um, because first of all, I want to get the the actual content together. So we want to make sure that we have a magazine first, and then certainly yeah, audio would be an area that we'd look to explore. Um, and I think we could do some do some damage, you know, with it with it being an audio magazine. I think it'd be very cool. Any other? Comments? Anything else? Okay. All right. Well, thank you very much. I'll let everybody go get some dinner. And uh, we will be back, I think, with the quiz, aren't we? At, uh, at 8 o'clock. Yep. Thank you very much. Oh, do take a card if you'd like. Uh, we'll have plenty of these. Thank you.